Oh, man, I just cracked my knee on the desk. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, I think the old knee's going to survive. Hope, uh, hope you had a great weekend. You're back, ready and, uh, ready and excited to start the new week. My name is Tom Rigsby. I'm still arranging things on my desktop here. So just bear with me a second. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning, the show where we talk about how to start growing. Enjoy the benefits of owning your own business. Camera needs to come up a little bit. This is all these kind of Monday morning things we got to take care of. But, uh, yeah. So uh, if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, maybe it's SoundCloud, maybe you're watching on YouTube. At some point, you got to head over to seven minutes in the morning dot com and join in the conversation. That's where you can do what Joe has done and others will do today. Leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you're here and watching when you get here. Give it the old thumbs up, like the video, like the page. That way, Facebook, you can put Facebook to work for you. And Facebook will let you know the next time we go live. I've got my coffee here. I would recommend you do the same because it's chilly outside this morning. At least here where I am, it is. Look, I cracked my knee on the desk and spilled coffee at all at the same time. How do you do that? So last week, in fact, I still have it up here on the other screen. Last week, we talked about uh, ugly babies. Don't make ugly babies. And if you missed one or any of those episodes, I would strongly encourage you to go back and watch them. They're all available there on the Facebook page at seven minutes in the morning dot com and uh go back and listen to those because last week is um to well this week is gonna be the flip side of last week. It's not necessarily a setup, so if you missed last week <coughs> excuse me, if you missed last week, it doesn't mean that this week won't make sense to you. It just means that um this is the other half of the equation. So last week talking about making ugly babies is making products or services that nobody else wants. This week we want to talk about finding and doing work that matters. Now it might not exactly sound like the flip side, but you just got to bear with me and trust, trust the old Tom here. We're going to get to it this week. All right. So a little bit of context here. Uh, and, and we'll talk a lot more about work tomorrow, but kind of the big picture we want to talk about this week, work that matters. We all are going to do work, right? I mean, whether it's it's physical, mental, emotional, we all do work every day. Now, the trick is, and you've heard me tell the story about the hamster running in the wheel a lot. The trick is if we can do work that matters, then we're not like the hamster in the wheel, Right, working really hard for no outcome. We're actually, you know, running across country, actually making it toward our destination. Right. Another way I've, I kind of stumbled on the last couple of weeks to describe this is, you know, our, our daughter and her family live in Houston. We live here in Huntsville. It's about 800 miles. So, if I set out to drive 800 miles, I could drive 800 miles in any direction, but that wouldn't get me to the outcome, right? So I would be working, driving 800 miles, but I wouldn't be doing work that mattered because it might be taking me in the wrong direction, all right? So we are all going to do and engage in work. So what is work that matters then? What is work that matters? Well, that's our question this week, how we figure that out. But you have to understand that it is based in this predicate thought that we are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters, right? So if we figure out what those gifts and talents are and we work in those gifts and leverage those talents, then the thing, then the work that we do will just kind of feel natural, and the audience will just kind of appear and the outcomes will, will create themselves. Right. So that's kind of, 
that's kind of the direction that we're going. So here's uh, two things, two questions I want you to think about as we make our way through the week. I didn't, did not do a listening guide this week um, for reasons that will be obvious the further we get into the week. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. But here are a couple of things I want you to think about as we go through the week. First, I want you to think about the feeling that you get when I mention the word work. Do, is it is it a, a happy? Finish that sentence by saying, "Root of all evil." Um, so the same thing might be. So that's going to that's going to uh, color your view of money, right? The same might be true of work. If you have, um, if you have these preconceived ideas about work, then that's going to color the way that you look at work. But this week, I want to show you how you can look at work, how you can enjoy. Um, the, the work that you do and the output that you create. All right. So that's question number one. What kind of emotional response do you have when I talk about, uh, when I talk about work? Right. And then number two, number two is going to be, so y'all talking about my sound. You kind of throw me off track here. Number two, gifts and talents. What do you believe your gifts and talents are? Doesn't, they don't have to be work related. They could be anything in life. What do you believe your gifts and talents are? Right. So those are your two questions. I'll put these up in the text since you're having a hard time hearing me. One is what are your, what's your emotional response to the word work? And two, <laughs> and two, what is your emotional response to the word work? And number two, uh, what do you believe your gifts and talents are? Not necessarily work related, just what do you feel like your gifts and talents are? All right. So Joe says the sound is fixed. I'm going to listen to the recording. If it's better, I'll put that video up when we are done. But that's it for today's show. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. As always, if you have questions or comments, be sure and leave them in the comments below. I'll be working those today and putting some of this stuff down there that we have talked about. You guys have a terrific Monday. Be sure and be back here again tomorrow for Tuesday's installment. Uh, oh, oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, be sure and be back here. I might record it. I might not. I'm doing a live remote for the radio tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to do my best to do the show live from where I'm doing the remote. But we'll, we'll see how that works out. Either way, you should be back here to check it out. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a magnificent Monday.